So I'm in Ojai this morning. It's late May, almost the end of June. It's still been pretty cool this year. Heat hasn't kicked in yet, which would really get all the pests going, but I'm waiting for someone to finish up with something funny he's doing. Actually, my son's watching other friends graduate at Villanova. Um, <laughs> this is a case study in citrus care and container gardening in everything that could possibly go wrong, practically other than getting greening virus. I'm guessing this is a page or pixie mandarin since Ojai is known for its pixies. This tree is um, suffering from lack of nitrogen, lack of micronutrients, and it is definitely not suffering from a lack of pests. I don't think I've seen anything this bad in a commercial landscape setting in my life for citrus. Actually, yeah, <laughs> one other place. Oh well, no, I don't think so. This tree is completely engulfed in scale, which is San Jose scale on this particular tree. Um, all these little bumps down here on the leaves, they're actually sucking the plant juices out of the um, leaves and the stems and then they poop. The poop is the same as aphids. They're all in the same family, Homoptera family. And more scales here. But when Homopteras poop, they poop a sweet sticky substance that reacts with an airborne fungi and creates this sooty mold. The poop isn't black, but all the dust and the sooty mold reacting to it turns the leaves black. Such a extraordinarily beautiful effect. I guess this is a gothic citrus tree. Um, again, these leaves here are completely covered in San Jose scale. There is natural controls for this. Um, a phytus would get rid of this over a period of time. It's a small beneficial insect released into most of the uh, citrus groves here to control scale naturally. Um, would be helpful to control the ants. The other thing this thing's got going is something that's very seldom seen anymore. Um, a disease that nearly wiped out the entire California citrus industry, which is um, looks like mealybug, but it isn't. Um, it's caught in a cushy scale. There is mealybug on here, but everything, all this white stuff, is caught in a cushy scale. Extremely destructive. As I said, it nearly wiped out the entire citrus industry back probably a hundred years ago or so. I have to look that up and go to UC Riverside to get the information on that. Um, Connie Cushy scale is also a common lands not a common, it is a landscape pest in some areas. Uh, gets on Pittosporum Wheeler's Dwarf, uh, Pittosporum Tabira or Varigata, and a few other plants. Not a lot, but definitely likes the Pittosporum uh, Tabiras. It has this puffed up kind of Q-tip appearance to it. It looks like mealybug, but it's different in that it has this big uh, cap on the top of it, whereas mealybug is going to be walking along the branch. This stuff just gets puffy and reproduces in mass amounts. Um, the young are also on here. They may even look like the um, Santa Jose scale. I haven't really spent a lot of time with uh, Cottony Cushy scale. Um, so I'm sure the young are on here also intermingled with uh, some of the other scale. Because we've got everything going on here. We've got just this huge sticky mass. There's the babies or the uh, nymphs. Uh, Cotton cushy scale up and down the stem or the vein of this leaf here. There is a ladybug that was brought from Australia, I believe, to control this. We actually have two Australian lady beetles on here. We have Cryptolamus uh, feeding on some of the little bits of mealybug that are on here, and maybe even this cottony cushy scale.
Well, in particular, we have what's called a Valhalla lady beetle. I'm mispronouncing that a little bit. Unfortunately, she's so covered in dust, it doesn't really stick out that well. Um, doesn't have black and red spots in the normal colors, more a pattern. I'm not sure we can get her. She's walking around here. I mean, for all I know, it's a he, but we'll just keep it generic. Again, Von Hollow Beetle. Um, gets rid of uh, Cottony Cushy Scale. That was its uh, primary food, as opposed to like the ladybugs we sell that feed on just aphids. Now we can see that she's been very busy laying eggs, and the eggs have been pupating on the underside of these leaves from larva to adult beetles. There's also some, um, some cryptolamus on here. More very beautiful uh, cottony cushy scale. Let's see if we can get in here and find some crypto. Crypto are really awesome uh, mealybug predators. Uh, here's another uh, Valhalla lady beetle. Try and clean her off. Whoops. Yeah. Down there. You can see they've been also pupating on the wall. May have to uh, go and search for the crypto and uh Ugh, God. What an absolute embarrassment if you're a landscape professional. I mean really you should I mean it took years to get this bad. I mean you'd have to be such a complete freaking retard of a landscaper. Uh here we go. I oh, know. There's a little, uh, we have here, uh, no, another Valhalla lady beetle feeding away, looking for some activity in there. What we'll do is I'll go to Associates sec Insectary and just do a, a pure Cryptolamus beetle and mealybug video. Uh, Associates raise these, raises the aphytis and the uh, Cryptolamus for the uh, citrus orchards here. In Southern California. Oh, there's a much cleaner Valhalla beetle. There it is, feeding early, looking for stuff to eat. I've seen more of these in uh, this last few minutes than I have probably in the last four years. I, these things have a good market of about a dollar, dollar and fifty each at least. They'll reproduce in mass amounts when they have the right food supply, and unfortunately, this idiot landscaper who takes care of this place has uh, done a great job in giving them an ample food supply. Again, scale, cottony cushy scale, some mealy bug, but it's some mixed into the uh, cottony cushy scale. It's going to be hard for the average person to see what what is what. Uh, here's some really good young cottony cushy scale. You can see it all in the different stages of development. Small babies growing into larger ones. Here's one actually with a massive amount of uh, crawlers. I'm going to squeeze it and it just kind of turned kind of bloody orange color. There's all sorts of thousands of little scale crawlers in there that'll find their places on the uh, stems and begin latching on there and feeding and cramping all over the place into this really beautiful goo. I mean, don't you want this all over the uh, pot and the, uh, uh, just ruin the pot and your patio? Beautiful stuff.